Hello and welcome to the great big holiday show. Today's show for me is like a wander through my life. Uh, we're going to be going to places where I lived for some of my life and also to places I've been to many times. There's not one place that we're talking to today that I actually haven't either lived in or been there many times. So it's 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 going to be wallowing in nostalgia for me. Stay around. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to the Rocky Mountaineers soon as well to uh, the Rockies in, in Canada. We've got all sorts lined up for you. Go to Rome. We've got a lovely uh, weekend break there for you as well. But we're going to be starting off in uh, a favourite part of my, Spain of mine, the Costa Brava. And uh, this is lovely. We're going to be staying at the Hotel Gran Garbi in Lorette de Mar on an all-inclusive basis. Now, uh, this is the beach at Lorette. And do you know what? They, they have these little boats that come right up to the beach in Lorette. And uh, you can get on them and they take you around the coast. And uh, maybe to Blanes, where the, uh, the local market there is most mornings. Uh, the best time, uh, I think the best one is on a Sunday. Uh, it's got all sorts going on there. Uh, but Lorette itself is a lovely town, lovely old town. And many people think of Lorette as just like bright lights and discos and all that sort of thing. But it's not, it's got a lovely old working town. And that's what's really nice about it as well. And some really old traditional places to go to. Uh, some of the places I'd recommend to you to go to is a restaurant right in the centre of the old town called El Ricario. Uh, and, you know, all they serve is chicken. Uh, chicken, chips and salad. That's all they serve. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I recommend that. Um, and then if you want to go for some uh, British food or some steaks, uh, the Orient Express, right on the seafront in Lorette de Mar there. Uh, get, if you go there, ask for Jimmy. Uh, and say John Cooper said to say, say hello. He'll, uh, he'll probably buy you a drink. Uh, uh, then in, in Lorette itself, central, uh, centrally, the parish church of San Roma it is Gorgeous there, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, picture you can see here, this is just up the coast in Blanes. And you see where that greenery is all there? That's where the market takes place. And what I, was, what I do is, you get the, the boat from here in Lorette, right through to Blanes, do all your shopping, get all your bargains in the market, and then I'd come back on the boat. It, it's a great way of doing it. Uh, you know, it really is. That's what's so good about this. Now, with this holiday as well, we're on an all-inclusive basis. Um, which is something that I, I, you know, the thing is, it's one less thing to worry about, isn't it? Being on an all-inclusive basis. That's uh, all your local beer, wine, soft drinks, alcohol, uh, and uh, and that sort of thing. It's all included. This going on the 10th of September for seven nights. We've departed this out of Stansted Airport. Now, other airports are available. We've included with this, of course, your flights and your luggage with 22 kilos of luggage and 10 kilos of hand luggage as well, uh, plus your transfers and a rep in resource, 499. 499. Uh, do you know, that sort of price when you're going all inclusive, you can afford to go out to a place like uh, El Ricario, that place I was telling you about, that does chicken. Um, chicken chips, glass of jug of sangria between, between the two of you, uh, and uh, a, 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 a sweet afterwards. You're talking about a fiver. It really is good. And the Orient Express, well, you'll just love that as well. Uh, as I say, say hello to Jimmy for me when you go there. It's a great place. And there's so much to do. Do you know what I'd also recommend you do while you're here as well? Um, as long as it's not the height of the season, the height of the season, uh, I'd, uh, don't hire a car. But if you're going in low season like this, I'd say hire a car. Because, do you know, you can go just up out of town and join the motorway. And you can go to France for the day. You're just about an hour away from the south of France, so go to Perpignan for the day. Somewhere like that. You know, ooh la la. Why not do it? You're there. And you can go to Barcelona for the day as well. Uh, do you know what I'd do as well? You can either get the bus into Barcelona from uh, Lorette's uh, uh, bus station, or if I was you, I'd get the bus to Blanes or Blaine's uh, train station and get the train straight into the heart of Barcelona. It's really, really inexpensive. Uh, great holiday, great breakaway, and it's all inclusive at 499. Let's have a look at the details on this one, shall we? Uh, absolutely lovely. The Costa Brava getaway at the Hotel Grand Garby in Lorette de Mar on the 10th of September for uh, seven nights in and out of London Stansted. Now, we can do other airports as well, uh, like Manchester, Leeds, Bradford, places like that. Uh, we also do uh, Glasgow as well. Uh, if you want it, just give us a call. It's 0800 655 665 Eight hundred six double five and double six nine five, and we can do this uh, other times of year. In fact, we can do this every week throughout the year, more or less, uh, from uh, early March right the way through to the end of October. So, if you want to go, 
give us a call. Um, you know, you, you're going to really love it. You're going to love it. This is flights into Girona, by the way. Uh, so, you know, you're not that far away as well. It's not hours on the on the transfer bus or anything. And let's say uh, we've got a rep there, 23 kilos, uh, sorry, 22 kilos of luggage and uh, 10 kilos of hand luggage to take on the plane with you as well. You've got reps waiting for you in resort and it's all inclusive as well. How good is that? Uh, I knew you'd like that one. Now then, another one of our cultural tours. Uh, this is one that go to another place I lived for a while as well, Paris. We go to Monet's Garden, uh, Rouen and Paris as well. Uh, it really is lovely. Uh, we've got so much uh, lined up for you here as well. It's a, it's a great tour. We're going to be visiting uh, Giverny, including entrance to Monet's house and gardens. And you know, as you can see, this is going in July. So the garden is going to be in full bloom. It is going to be gorgeous just to wander around, take it all in. And you'll see, you know, where the paintings came from. You know, when you see, you know, scenes like this. Then, of course, we're going to take you around Paris. Ooh la la. Let's do it, shall we? Um, the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe. You've got to go see all that, haven't you? Do you know, there it is. And uh, the Champs-Élysées is great as well. There's loads of restaurants and bars, shops there as well expensive shops there as well uh, but it's lovely oh and of course uh, you've got to go see this haven't you this is the um uh the pump the, the louvre the, i tell you what when you go and see there you go and see uh, the paintings there uh is it the, the mona lisa so small so small i thought is that it is that it and then of course we're going to take her to rouen which is a lovely medieval town as well uh, you're going to really enjoy this. So Rouen's so, so lovely. And it, do you know what? It makes you feel as though you're in France. It, you, I know that sounds silly, but you know, if you, the cheeses and the wines and the, the patisseries. Oh, I love a good French patisserie, me. I do. Uh, you know, and there's so much involved in this holiday. Do you know, it really is. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Monet's Garden, uh, Rouen, Paris. Uh, you know, we're going to be staying in the uh, Mercure Mercas in uh, St Quentin on a bed and breakfast basis. This is going on the 6th of July for three nights. Now, other dates are available. And what you may notice is it's a weekend. It's a Friday to a Monday. Now, there's UK-wide pickup points here. But what I will tell you is uh, dates may vary depending on the pickup date. Not all pickups can go on this date. Now, when you have a look at the price here, at £239 for a great weekend away, taking you to see you know, a visit to Giverny, including entry into Monet's house and gardens, a visit to Rouen, sightseeing tour of Paris. It's three nights bed and buffet breakfast, uh, and it's all in a four-star Mercure Maripass in St Quentin. Uh, it's a lovely hotel, coach travel throughout, return ferry, and of course, services of a friendly tour manager as well. It's all included in that price there for that price if you want it dial the number let's have a look at the details shall we a lovely a lovely you know weekend away this for 239 quid isn't it it is a lovely weekend away 0800 655 665 0800 655 665 just say john said to call <laughs> they're, they're, they're waiting for your call right now they're waiting for your call right now they really are it's going to be lovely this um, do you know, when you go here as well, I'll tell you what they'll do as well. You know, on the way back, on the way back to the ferry, yeah, they stop at that supermarket. You know where they sell all the, all the wines, so you get all your, your duty-free wine. Oh, yes. Do you know what? I saw that on uh, Only Fools and Horses. You know where they, they stopped at the, that wine warehouse? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you'll be doing all that. And I'll say, seeing Paris as well. It's really relaxed, lovely way to do it. Monet's Garden as well, Rouen, you're going to love. You're gonna love that, uh, and uh, you know, bring the cheese back for me. I love, I love a bit of French cheese. I do. Right now, another place I lived. Gosh, it's like, it's like going back in time. This isn't it? Is Corfu, and we're going to the hol uh, the Corfu Holiday Palace. It's a four-star hotel, and uh, do you know what? I lived about a hundred yards or hundred meters from this hotel. That's where my apartment was. Now this is Corfu Town, which you can see here. And Corfu Town is lovely. Um, I tell you what, you're not far off Corfu Town here as well, quite near to the airport as well. Uh, it really is a lovely place to go see. Uh, great sea views right, out right across Mouse Island, uh, which is lovely. Um, and then there's so many things to go and see and do in Corfu as well. Uh, Corfu Town itself is 
gorgeous. I'll tell you what, uh, one thing that you always want to go in doing Corfu Town, if you want to cause absolutely havoc, go into the centre of town when it's really busy and shout, Spiros! Every second man in Corfu is called Spiros. They'll all look around. <laughs> uh, Calio Pastritza, absolutely gorgeous. You've got to go there. Uh, that is the cruise terminal report. You can see all, see all, see all the cruise ships in. Uh, they'll come in as well. And right at the front, of the, in the front of the, uh, that picture there, where you can see, um, that is uh, where they have the cricket pitch. And it's uh, the, Venet the Venetian frontiers there are absolutely lovely. Um, now, we can do this uh, many times through the year. Uh, and if you go at Easter time, uh, the Greek Easter, not our Easter, the Greek Easter, that's where they, they throw all the pots and things out of the top of the floor, and just break pots everywhere. It's a fantastic sight. If you go on the Greek Easter, you'll love it. This is a half-board holiday, as they say, at the Corfu Holiday Palace at Canoni Beach in Corfu. Um, as I say, I think you're going to really, really love it. It's going on the 27th of September, this, based on that date, uh, departing Manchester. Now, we can do other airports as well. This is for seven nights, 599. 599 that's a great price isn't it well you consider your half board we've included 23 kilos or 22 kilos of luggage for you as well it's so easy to get around here as well and it's a super friendly hotel i've also included 10 kilos of hand luggage as well as your 22 uh, uh, kilos of uh, of uh, boarded uh, luggage as well uh, transfers are included got friendly rep there waiting for you when you get there you know it is a lovely holiday we look after you all the way you're gonna love it if you want more details give us a call let's have a look at the details shall we here they are it is uh, a lovely hotel uh, the uh, the Corfu Palace um, uh, the Corfu Holiday Palace on the 27th of September once again we can do this all the way through from May right through to the end of October if those dates don't suit you give us a call we'll quote you on another day it's on a half board basis this what a great week away seven nights in and out of Manchester we can do other airports as well uh, other airports like uh, Stansted we can also do uh, Leeds Bradford and, and Glasgow as well give us a call Give us a call, 0800 655 6695. And remember, we can do this most weeks as well. Most weeks. We're just choosing that date as a price point for you. As a price point for you. Um, if you want it, give us a call. Give us a call. Uh, you know, our friendly team are standing by waiting for your call right now. Couldn't be easier. Now then, a tour I did uh, about three years ago now was around the Canadian Rockies and I absolutely loved it and I would recommend anyone to go and do this tour um, it is so it is breathtaking Canada is one of the most beautiful places you ever that's the, the glacier that you're going to see as well uh, the glacier is absolutely the Icefield Parkway is lovely um, these are the sort of experiences that you've been, that's Lake Louise I mean look how blue she is it's incredible. The time of year we're going as well, she'll just be thawed out. She'll just be thawed out after the winter. Uh, the time of year we chose to go here is April. It's because it's springtime and things are opening up. This is Vancouver. You will fall in love with Vancouver, my friends. It is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. It's been uh, frequently voted the world's best city to live in. Uh, Capalina Park here with the suspension bridges. It's like going out on I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. It really is. Um, this is what it's all about. Seeing grizzly bears with a bit of luck. With a bit of luck. This is the wild of Stanley Park. I went, you won't believe this. I went on a bike ride around Stanley Park. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Look, at the, look at the countryside and what you'll be seeing and what you'll be feeling. It is lovely. Um, we also, it's a tour as well. It's a tour, this. So you're going to see so much. We're going to be starting off in Banff. The capital of the Rockies. You're going to have two nights there. Then we're going to jo journey along the Icefields Parkway by sparkling Lake Louise. We're going to enjoy a two-night stay in the Alpine town of Jasper. Um, that was like a railway town. It was gorgeous. Um, then we look out for the Grizzlies in the Monchi Mountains, discover Vancouver, uh, then stay two nights in the pretty harbourside city of Victoria as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the history... The, I mean, look at all this. It's gorgeous. Uh, you've got nine nights on a room only basis in hotels in Banff for two nights, Jasper two nights, uh, Sun Peaks for a night, Vancouver for two nights, and Victoria for two nights. You've got flights 
from the UK to Calgary, returning from Van Vancouver as well. It's fully escorted by a friendly and experienced tour manager. Now, what I would say is, while you're away, there will be extra optional excursions available to you. And I would take some of them, I really would. Some of them, things like a, a helicopter ride, which I did, which is absolutely incredible. Um, but also, places you see and things that you'll do and see, uh, breathtaking. The one thing you'll need is your camera. Uh, this is going along the ice fields. It, it is incredible. That, do you know what? Everybody is like that on the bus. The waterfalls you see, by the way, absolutely incredible. And especially at this time of year, because the, the ice is melting from the top of the mountains and coming down, forming these wonderful, wonderful things. Now, what clothing-wise, I'll take with you, take some warm layers, I think is the thing, layers. Because once you get to Vancouver, it's quite warm there. But when you're out in Lake Louise, a place like this, it will be cold. I'll be honest with you. I, I've stayed in that hotel on Lake Louise. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a lovely hotel. Um, you'll be having probably lunch there. You know, it is, it's great. Uh, the whole atmosphere is incredible um, and it's so relaxing. These are the sights you'll see. Uh, is that me in that helicopter? Uh, it's lovely. At 1799 as well, at 1799, when you consider how far you're going, and to tell you how far you're going is, uh, Canada, if you fly to Toronto in Canada, the flight from London to Toronto is the same length as the flight from Toronto to Vancouver. You're going the other side of Canada. It is so far away and the views are spectacular. You'll fall in love with it. Yeah, some people may say it's the holiday of a lifetime, but I think it's a holiday that you will love and want to do time and time and time again. Uh, it's the wildlife that you'll see. It's the scenery that you'll see. It's the people you'll meet, the absolute wonders of the world that you'll see. Um, yeah, and, and the friendliness of the Canadian people has just got to be unbelievable, you know, got to be seen. The food is absolutely incredible as well. Uh, some of the things that I remember about going to Canada, especially in Vancouver, is Japantown. Lovely. Uh, this is going to the Canadian Rockies. It's touring hotels on a room-only basis on the 24th of April. Now, we can do this on a couple of other dates. The, the, uh, the prices do vary. Call us, we'll quote you separately. It's a 10-night holiday departing out of Heathrow. Other airports and dates, I'd say, are available. This price here, 1799 It's incredible. You're going to be staying in Banff, the capital of the Rockies, journey along the Icefield Parkway via sparkling Lake Louise. Enjoy a two-night stay at the alpine town of Jasper. Look out for the Grizzlies on the Moonshee Munchies and also discover Vancouver, frequently voted the world's best city to live in. Stay two nights in the pretty harbourside city of Victoria. Nine nights in total room-only accommodation in hotels in Banff for two nights, Jasper for two nights, Sun Peaks for a night, Vancouver for two nights and Victoria for two nights. I say your flights are two from the UK to Calgary and returning from Vancouver. You've got a comfortable air conditioning coach travel while you're in Canada uh, all your transfers included it's fully escorted by a friendly experienced tour manager and there are optional excursions as you go along your way uh, they'll really point you in the right direction with food and where to stop and, and what have you like that you're gonna love the whole experience if you can afford to do it I would say do it I really would it's experience of a lifetime let's have a look at the details shall we uh, I love this the Canadian Rockies on the 24th of April that's 10 days after a significant date in the diary, you know. Oh, by the way, this is 2019. It's not this year, it's next year. It's next year. Yeah, so yeah, I don't want really you thinking, oh my God, go get a suitcase from the loft, love. No, no, this is next year. You've got over 12 months. And do you know what I think as well? With a holiday like this, a significant holiday like this, uh, a lot of the, the pleasure is the anticipation of the holiday. You know, the build up to it. And I think that's, that's what part of it's all about. I think you'll love this holiday, it really is. Remember, you're gonna be visiting Banff, Lake Louise, Jasper, Vancouver, and Victoria. Um, you've got an experienced tour manager with you who you, you'll get along with really, really well. And you know what? On board the coach, it becomes like an atmosphere, uh, you know, like a, a community that you'll just fall in love. 0800 655 6695. Have you got any questions? That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for.
Right, bring it right back now. Uh, shall we head for the Med? Uh, we're going here to Menorca in the Balearic Islands and uh, we're going to be staying at the play Hotel Player Azul on a hardball basis in Callan Porta in Menorca, which is absolutely lovely. The beaches are incredible. It's on the opposite side of the island to Mahon, where they make all the gin, obviously. Um, but Menorca is a lovely island. It is so quiet and quaint and lovely. Um, one thing that it's famous for are its gates, believe it or not. Yeah, they have these wooden gates that you don't find anywhere else in Spain. And uh, I was just talking before we came on. When I first went to Menorca, I've been to Menorca many, many times. The first thing that really surprised me was the first place in Spain I've seen Frisian cows walking around. Uh, this is a love. This is uh, in the city. And you see, you see all those little white little tents. They're all fish restaurants. They're all fish restaurants. That's in Ciudadela. Uh, it's lovely. That's the fishing harbour of Ciudadela, and then all the fish restaurants all around. Um, wow. I have some lang langoustines. It's gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. Um, and Menorca, it's such a relaxing holiday as well. You're going to really feel at home and enjoy it all. And so we're going to sing at the hotel, um, uh, a lovely hotel, which is uh, the Playa Azul. Uh, the Blue Beach Hotel on a hardball basis in Calamporto in Menorca. This is based on the 12th of October uh, for seven nights, departing in and out of Stansted. We can do loads of other airports as well. Um, 399 quid. 399 quid. Uh, I say that includes all your flights, your transfers. You've got a rep and resort. Uh, we're going to give you 22 kilos of luggage on the plane and 10 kilos of hand luggage as well. It's lovely. Uh, this is one of the very first tourist towns on the island as well, uh, so it's got a history as well, which you're going to love too. Tell you what, let's have a look at the details on this, shall we? It's a lovely holiday, going to Callum Porter in Menorca at the Hotel Playa Azul, Blue Beach Hotel. That's what that means in Spanish. Uh, going on the 12th of October, 399. That's in another London Stansted. We can do a lot of other airports as well. Just give us a call, 0800 655 6695. Uh, and we can do this right throughout the summer as well. Yeah, from right at the beginning of May, right through to the end of October. So if that day doesn't suit you, yeah, give us a bell, give us a bell. You know, if you can only do school holidays, you can only do school holidays, then give us a call. We'll get you involved in that one. Uh, I think you're going to love it as well. It's a lovely hotel. And once again, Menorca. Wow. You're going to love it. If you've never been, it's a great family holiday resort as well. We've got great kids' prices on that too, by the way. Um, if, you, if you want to have a go at that, and I say it's a lovely one. Now then, how about a city break to the eternal city? I'm talking here, Rome. Now this is lovely. Uh, we're going to be putting you up in the Britannia Hotel. It's a four-star hotel right in the centre of Rome, not far from the railway station, which means you're right in the centre to go and see all the attractions, things like the Trevi Fountain, which isn't that far away. They say if you throw a coin in the Trevi Fountain, you're always bound to come back. Um, and there is so much to see. The Vatican. Uh, a little tip here. You're going to be here for three nights. Go in the morning to the Vatican. Uh, the queues can actually really creep up. So go in the morning to the Vatican. Get that done. Uh, obviously, there's the Colosseum, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, just to have a look around it to see it. Uh, see the old, old parts of Rome, the old parts of the Roman Empire. It's just, well, I remember walking around this thinking, wow, the history here. You know, you can almost imagine Julius Caesar being there, you know, and the lions. and, and all, you know, When you're there, you can imagine it all. It truly is awe-inspiring. And Rome is a lovely city. Uh, do you know what you want to do? To give yourself a bearing on the first day, do the hop-on, hop-off tour bus. It gives you a great bearing around the city. I remember doing that. It's, it's, a, really, it's a nice long one around Rome as well really is a nice long one around Rome. So you get to see everything. And uh, as I say, it's quite a compact city, Rome, too. And eating out there is lovely. You're really going to enjoy everything about it. Uh, as I say, the hotel as well, right at the Britannia, it's a four-star hotel. It's right in the centre of Rome. Um, so, you know, you're right near the railway station if you want to go and do anything else. Uh, you know, this is truly a lovely holiday that you're going to really enjoy. Uh, eating out in Rome as well could be really in inexpensive. Um, there's an abundance of lovely restaurants and the Italian food, the pizzas, the salads, the wines, oh, and the desserts. Oh, 
Yeah, that's why you go on these holidays. If you're looking for maybe just a romantic breakaway, this is going on the 21st of September. It's a Friday for three nights, departing in and out of Manchester for 479 quid. Uh, it's on a bed and breakfast basis. We can do other airports as well. All I'd say is give us a call, get yourself involved. Um, and I'll say we can do this on many dates right across the whole year. So, you know, if you want to put it into, uh, make it into a romantic weekend because it's someone's birthday or an anniversary you've got or something like that, ring us for the dates and, you know, we'll, we'll, get, we'll just organise it around you. Once again, we've included your flights uh, with this one and uh, all your luggage as well. Uh, transfers are by yourself, but you get the train straight from the station uh, straight into the airport. It couldn't be simpler. Uh, let's have a look at the details on this one. It really is so good. It's the Rome City Break, staying at the Britannia Hotel. It's a four-star hotel right in the centre of Rome, not far from uh, the station. And I'd say uh, from, the, from the station, you can either get the train to the airport or vice versa, or there's a, a really frequent bus goes every 15 minutes uh, from the, the, the station right to the airport as well. So you know, it's dead easy to get yourself in and out there. Don't worry about that. 0800 655 6695. Uh, a great weekend away. Bed and breakfast, of course. Um, and each, uh, the, the, the Italian food. C could you imagine? The pasta. Oh! The pasta, the pizza, uh, the tiramisu. You've got, to, you've got to have a tiramisu while you're there, haven't you? Isn't that the law? I think it must be. And if it isn't, it should be. Uh, 0800 655 6695. Uh, Rome is a place you're going to love. The Eternal City. And I tell you what, what a great break that is. What a great holiday. Can't believe where we've been today. We started off on the Costa Brava in Lorette. Uh, we went through Corfu, the Rocky Mountaineers. Uh, we've been to Menorca and we've been to Rome as well. That's what it's all about here on the Great Big Holiday Show. We'll be back real soon with some more great holiday offers. If you want any more details, go to bookme2.co.uk. In the meantime, for me, John Cooper, thanks for watching and a happy holiday. You've been watching a commercial presentation on behalf of bookme2.co.uk.